In 2018-19, Manchester United slumped to a sixth-place Premier League finish, conceding more goals of all the teams above them, but also Wolves, Everton and Leicester City directly below. In response, the club spent the summer trying to improve their defence. And to do so, they made Harry Maguire the most expensive centre-back in the history of British football. Four years later, Maguire is no longer an automatic starter at the club and is the subject of frequent social media mockery. So, what happened? On a superficial level, it's possible to chart Maguire's waning status through his declining appearances. In his first season, he started all 38 Premier League games. In his second, 34. In his third, during which Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked and replaced by Ralph Rangnick, he began 28. And most recently, in Eric Ten Hag's first season at the club, he made just eight starts and eight substitute appearances. Maguire is club captain at Manchester United and has a contract which runs at least until the summer of 2025 and is on wages of around 190,000 a week. And yet his value to the club is clearly diminishing. To add a layer of confusion, Maguire has retained his place in the English national team during this period, for whom his performances have been much higher. What's the problem at Manchester United then? The big contrast is a lack of stability. For England, he's played under the same coaching staff continuously, enjoyed the very public support of head coach Gareth Southgate, and more often than not, played alongside John Stones, who is also one of his close friends. At club level, it's different. He joined Manchester United at a time when they were in a state of transition, both in the sense of style and personnel. Between 2019 and the present day, he has played under three different coaches, each with their own tactical imperatives and alongside a changing cast of teammates. It's been challenging. The Athletic's Adam Crafton reported that, upon arriving back at the club in 2021, Cristiano Ronaldo's personality overwhelmed many of those who had previously been growing in prominence at United. Naturally, that would include Maguire. In addition to which, The Athletic also revealed that during Ralph Rangnick's reign, Ronaldo made clear to the German that he would prefer the team did not include Maguire. Clearly, the atmosphere at the club has changed several times since Maguire joined, as have the voices in the dressing room. Not that it has always been easy away from the pitch. In the summer of 2020, during a family holiday to Mykonos, Maguire and his brother spent two nights in police custody and were later found guilty in court of offences including attempted bribery, repeated bodily harm and violence against public employees. He was given a suspended prison sentence but has always denied all charges. Nevertheless, the saga was hardly ideal preparation for his second season at Manchester United. But the bigger issues have been technical and, in time, confidence-based. According to The Athletic's Carl Anker, Maguire is at his best when operating in his favoured left-side centre-back position. During his first year, his aggressive man-marking style meant he dominated his 1v1 duels on the ground and in the air. And while Maguire has never been especially quick, his instinct for pushing out of the defensive line to make an early tackle disguised that flaw. In addition to which, playing from the left also suited his ball-carrying abilities and, when in possession, allowed him to protect the ball with his left shoulder as he moved up the field. It also helped Manchester United compensate for their ball progression issues in midfield and the conservative pairing of Scott McTominay and Fred. But the trajectory of his United career seemed to change for good in the autumn of 2021. He was dispossessed deep in his own half for the first goal in a 4-2 loss to Leicester City. And the following week, he was culpable for three separate goals in a 5-0 humiliation to Liverpool at Old Trafford. It became a vicious cycle. Manchester United were tactically dysfunctional and often outnumbered in midfield and during counter-attacking situations. Consequently, Maguire often became overwhelmed. His confidence dropped and, with it, his sense of timing in tackles deteriorated and never really recovered. The difference in Maguire then hasn't been his playstyle, which has always been proactive, but the timing of his actions. As if to make the point, he ended that dreadful 2021 run of games by being sent off in a 4-1 defeat to Watford for a badly timed tackle in what would be Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's last game. Adding to the issue is the fact that a return to his favourite left-side centre-back role seems unlikely. Current head coach Eric Ten Hag prefers his centre-backs to play on the side of their dominant foot, believing that it helps them to receive the ball and presents better passing angles, both crucial to a manager who wants to build up play from the back. But Ten Hag prefers centre-backs who are strong at defending the outside channel in their position. When it comes to right-footed defenders, stopping an opponent running past them on the wide channel requires them to step their dominant foot across their body. Equally, when defending backwards with players in the channel, a right-side dominant defender will often try to hook the ball away with the outside of their right foot, which is a much more difficult action. This season, Ten Hag has pointed to both as reasons for playing Maguire on the right-hand side of defence. And Maguire actually began the season as a first choice playing alongside Lisandro Martinez. That was in spite of Ten Hag's insistence on a higher defensive line which further exposed Maguire's lack of acceleration. 
Poor performances against Brighton and Brentford cost him his place, and despite injuries to Martinez and Raphael Varane, he wouldn't regain it. Timing issues and positional awkwardness remained traits of his game. A disastrous Europa League performance against Sevilla might have been the season's low point, but nine yellow cards in 27 all-competition appearances describes a player clearly ill at ease and short on self-belief. Behind Varane and Lindelof on the right, and Martinez and even Luke Shaw on the left, he now finds himself, because of form and his head coach's tactical preferences, as a third choice in both centre-back positions. From there, it's difficult to see how Harry Maguire can regain his reputation at Manchester United. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.